you are mine. Shruti Jimish recollects an experience she had many years back of the tragic yet hope-filled story of a newborn baby, lovingly called Rosamal. Shruti Jamish is a nurse living in Ludwigshafen, Germany, with her husband Jamish and son Anthony. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, I will never forget you. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 15 More than 10 years ago, a newborn named Rosemole earned this promise of God by Isaiah through her suffering. It was during the fourth year of my nursing studies at a college near Bangalore in India that she came into my life. She had just been born, but since the couple had three elder daughters and were hoping for and expecting a baby boy, They were heartbroken to know that the newborn was a girl. Her father then decided to abandon her at the hospital itself to die. He did not even want to see her face and as for her mother, who knows what was going through the woman's mind. She never had the chance to feed her newborn even once. As they were preparing to leave the hospital a few hours after the delivery, I ran after them, pleading and begging them to take their baby as well home. They wouldn't look. They wouldn't respond. They left. Their newborn consigned to die in a dirty basin at the hospital. Not knowing what to do, I called up the then pro-life ministry members, who gave me the courage and support to fight for the baby. Empowered by their support, myself and a few of our Jesus Youth friends met with the hospital director, asking for us to be allowed to take guardianship for the newborn so that she could be given medical care. By the grace of God, he agreed and moved the baby to the neonatal ICU. Yet, the four to five hours she had spent in the cold basin without any care, was taking its toll on her tender body. As I spent time outside the NICU, praying and pleading with God for her, I experienced for the first time in my life the love of a parent for his or her child. As my heart was filled with motherly love for this little girl whom I had just met, I dreamed of her going to school, growing up, of a future filled with hope as we offered up rosaries and prayers for her. By evening, though, her condition had worsened, and because of the limited facilities at our hospital, the director asked us to take her to St. John's Medical College Hospital in Bangalore to provide better medical care. So there we were on an ambulance traveling to St. John's with a newborn connected to an oxygen mask in my arms. As she lay in my arms, I gave her an emergency baptism, giving her the name Rosemole. About an hour into the journey, the already much endured body of Rosemole made a final struggle before falling asleep for the last time. When we reached St. John's, they confirmed that she was already dead. Having experienced the joy of motherhood a few hours earlier, I now experienced the pain of bereavement to the fullest. For a long time, I was overcome by a terrible sense of sadness and loss. But as the time passed, I came to accept it as the will of God, our Heavenly Father. As a group, we then started praying for the intercession of Rosemole in heaven. A couple of years later, while attending a retreat and being prayed over, the elder mentioned that he saw the vision of a little angel praying over me. Initially, I told him that I didn't know of any little children that were in God's presence for my family. But then I remembered Rosemole. It was only a day 
that I was a mother to her. Yet I realized how much she valued that motherly care. I started sharing about Rosemole to our Jesus Youth friends, as well as in retreats and other groups. The greatest miracle was yet to come, and it happened after the birth of our son, Anthony. Even while he was as little as two or three months old, when he cried, my mom would seek the intercession of Rosemole and ask Rosemole to come and play with Anthony, her brother. And every time this happened, we were amazed at how miraculously Anthony would suddenly stop crying, look heavenward, and start smiling. Now Anthony has a sister in heaven, all because of what the Lord did more than 10 years ago. Although the little girl, Rosemole, was alive only for a few hours, Jesus had a plan for her life. And I have seen and experienced this plan. And through me, many others have also come to know about it. Praise be to Jesus.